Hi, welcome back to Wonder Talks. My name is Catherine, and this is my favorite wonder dog, Supergirl Smoochie. And we have our friend back again. Top of the morning to ya. Wonder Talks are short, inspirational talks that encourage you to think bigger in an area of your life. And so, in the lead up to St. Patrick's Day, I thought that we would talk about releasing your dream and destiny. So we have our little friend here. Hello. And Smoochie here has a new outfit on today. I thought that I would give her something a little more girly. Um, so a little flower in her collar. Thank you, Smoochie. So we talked last time about bringing dead dreams back to life. But I think there's probably some of you out there who are saying, okay, that's wonderful, Catherine, but I don't have any dreams. So I know we can't do it fully today, but I want to talk a little bit about some keys for how do you find your dreams. I think the first way that we find our dreams is that we look at those dreams that maybe we dismissed because we thought they were too big or too small. Here's the great news. There is no dream too big for God. I don't care how crazy, impossible your dream may seem. If God, who is huge, can become a baby, which was the dream on God's heart so that he could bring back all of us into his family. I don't know, I, I challenge you, think of a dream bigger than that. I don't think it exists. And if your dream is something that you can do yourself, well then it's probably not a God dream because you don't need him. So there is no dream too big because nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. But sometimes I think we also dismiss our dreams because we think they're too small. We say, well, my dream isn't really that important. I mean, I just, I just want to be a dad. Well, first of all, I don't know who told you that being a dad was a small dream, but there is no such thing as a dad not being important. I don't know about you, but I think dads are pretty important, and I'm really grateful that we have fathers in this world. And we need good fathers, fathers who really care about their children and, and believe in them and encourage them to be all that they can be. That is no small dream. But even if you, even if you say, Catherine, but my dream really is small, I believe in a God who cares about even the smallest dreams. And those things that might seem small, for example, it says in Hebrews that when you're entertaining people, you might just be entertaining angels. So having someone over for a meal might be as amazing as entertaining an angel. I think that's a pretty big dream. So don't let size cause you to dismiss your dream. I think that a lot of people actually know what their dream is, but they dismiss it because they say, oh, it's too big, I can never do that, little old me. Or, oh, it's too small, it doesn't really, isn't really important. God created you, and in your DNA is the dreams that he put in your heart. And he cares about those dreams even more than you do. And I don't think he ever says, oh, that dream is too big, or oh, that dream is too small. He cares about each and every one of them. The second way that you can find your dream is by knowing that there's an enemy in this world. Come here, Mujie. Come here, Mujie. <sighs> the second way you can find your dream is knowing that there's an enemy in this world. So, before you were born, the enemy wanted you dead. His goal is to kill, steal, and destroy. Not because he cares about you, but because he wants to hurt God. Who cares about you? And so, for example, you may have an experience where every time you got up to do public speaking when you were a child, someone made fun of you, or just weird things happened, or, and you just went, you know what, I just don't think I'm supposed to do public speaking. It could be true. Maybe you're not supposed to do public speaking. But it could also be that the enemy wanted to stop you before you really went into your destiny by making you think that it wasn't something that you were supposed to do. It may be that you sang off key when you were a kid, but now your voice is powerful, but you still think that you sing off key. Your dream might be hidden in those places where it just seemed like it didn't go so well, and actually, it is your dream. I'll tell you a little secret. 
I actually do not like talking to a video camera. I won't even talk on Skype with friends because I don't like talking to a video camera. But one of my dreams is that I wanted to create encouraging, short encouraging videos that would travel around the world. And so here I am, hidden underneath my fear, my dislike of talking to video cameras. Here I am. Here's one of my dreams. So who knows? Your dream might just be hidden under those places in your life where you just thought, I'm not supposed to do that because it didn't go well. Maybe, just maybe, your dream is hidden there. The third thing to know about your dreams is that they are on your heart and in your DNA. There is a lie that the heart is deceitful. So if you want to do something, it must not be God. Yes, it does say in Jeremiah, the heart is deceitful above all things. But it also says in 2 Corinthians 5.17 that when you came to know Jesus, if a person comes to know Jesus, that they're a new creation. That the old is gone and the new has come. And I'm pretty sure that God didn't say in that verse everything except your heart. He gave you a new heart. Do you know that the day after I met Jesus, a week after my 18th birthday, all I instantly, like literally overnight, all I wanted to do was travel and preach and teach and bring people into God encounters all throughout the world. That was my dream. And I don't think that we have a God who says, well, you want to do that too much, so, so I'm not going to give that to you. I think we have a God who's a good father, who wants to give us good gifts, who wants to give us those desires of our heart. And there's another lie that says, if I don't want something, then God's going to make me do that. For example, don't ever say that you don't want to go to Africa because God will send you there. What a horrible way to represent our God. Like, really, I have a father who hates me so much that if I say, you know what, I really don't like strawberry ice cream, he can be like, I know, we're going to make you eat strawberry ice cream every day. That'd be a terrible father. I think what happens is that we have a God who cares about us so much that he wants us to do those things that are on our heart. And we might just not know that we're going to love Africa. And so he kind of becomes Jehovah Sneaky and he gets us to Africa and we get there and we love it. Because he wants to give us good gifts. And so we have a God who wants us to do those things that are on our heart. And he cares more about our dreams than we do. Now you may have found your dream, but you might be saying, yeah, but I can't do that today. Okay, fair enough. There's many things you probably cannot do today. But one thing you can do is be who you are in that dream. For example, I have a dream to be a mother of nations, a mother of people all over the world, raising them up and sending them out into who they are. Now, for years, until last year, I actually didn't have any natural children. We just adopted a teenage son a year ago. And at that stage, I became a mother in that term. But even before we adopted our son, I was a mother. I was a mother everywhere I went. I was a mother when I went to the grocery store. One of my favorite things is when I'm shopping is to encourage the person at the checkout. Like I can be a mother everywhere I go and it's not determined, it's not determined by what circumstances are around me. I am forever and always a mother. And so whatever that dream is on your heart, you can be it before you actually do it. We are going to talk next week about how do you deal with those obstacles that come your way that stop you from going after your dream? But for now, I hope you have the most amazing, wonderful day. Say bye-bye, Snooji. Bye-bye. Top of the morning to ya. Cheerio. Bye-bye for now.